What is this going to mean for you? <laughs> this means I'm going to lose my everything that my father and I and my whole family has worked for, every girl has worked for, every person who has worked for in the last 20 years. This means losing your houses, losing your dreams, your goals, your ambitions, your identity as Afghan, everything. Can you tell me what, how do you think that is going to happen? The, the Taliban don't stand for anything other than violence, other than their white flag, other than the Islamic Emirat. They don't stand for the word Afghanistan or Afghans or women or justice or fairness or education. I mean, like we sacrifice thousands of men just for our girls to get to school. And now I don't even know where my students are. I don't even know where the students are right now. I mean, like, yeah, uh, I feel weak right now. I, I feel like crying right now because I don't have any other option. I don't know where my students are. I don't know where half of my staff is right now. What are you going to do? Uh, in all honesty, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I might be evacuated. I might not be evacuated. I might be murdered by tomorrow. I might not be... I might not be able to go out anymore. I might not be able to mobilize anymore. I might not be able to work or educate myself. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. All I can think of is one thing that my family did so much to build. The Kandar that I knew, the uh, life that I lived as a refugee, and uh, all sacrifices that we made to be here, it's, it's for nothing. Everything for nothing. There have been a sort of a charade of negotiations with the Taliban, haven't oh, there, no. in, in, in Qatar. What did you think that would lead to? That was selling us out. That was like, let us go out, uh, let the elite and the posh people get away out, and let's sell the people of Afghanistan, let's sell the civilians of Afghanistan, let them, let them make, let's throw them to the wolves again, because that's the only thing that they can come. Can you believe children bleeding, people are taking refuge in parks in Kabul, people are taking refuge in, in shops in Kanda right now. There is no way out. Our network was down the whole day. That, that's, that's our life right now. Have you been able to speak to people around the city, any of your students or friends or family? What, what are you hearing? My, my staff members, I got in touch with two of them in the evening, the one who fled to Kabul. I talked to her in the morning because that's the only person I could rely on. I'm still not in touch with my driver or caretaker. Um, the school principals that I work with has already fled to Kabul and uh, I'm not even in touch with any of my students, and I'm so worried about them. I don't even know what to do. This is very distressing to hear, and I'm sorry, but what are you going to do if there is a bang on the door? <sighs> Pray. Pray. Probably. It's going to be the last thing that I'm going to do, but that's the only thing I can do. I don't have anything else to do. Pashtana Jirani, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, thank and take you. care.